all these quacks. People are dying in churches because of ignorance. How can you pray for HIV and those people be healed? They so believe in that if they don't pray, and even some them, some of them too, when they when we now give them the drugs, when they are now on the uh, drugs, when they get the drugs from the mission where they were staying, the pastors will now tell them to take it. To keep the drugs. This thing I'm telling you is spiritual. That's a, that's a false prophet. And because one of the problems we are having here is behavioral change. Because here in River State, especially the Kana, where we are now, where I'm speaking to you, we have this court, uh, this serial culture. The first child is, I say, the first daughter mm. will stay behind. Mm. Your own first daughter too will stay behind. Mm. And, have, and have children with so many men. Mm. This um, child um, prostitution is here too. Mm. Wife abandonment is this, this, this side of the world. So part of the culture. Child married, rape because yeah, of this school. Yeah. And because of this school, the polytechnic here, and the trailer park here, there are so many things that are going wrong. They are raping children. The president of this revoke one of the companies here. You know, the long distance drivers. So many things are going wrong here. And when somebody will drive from Kano, to here, to drop petrol here at the trailer park. He has left his family for the past one week, two weeks. Yes. The only thing he does now is just to go, go in there, pick any girl. This yeah. person, and they, they don't even have the, an idea of condom. We even tell them, it's, they say it's against our tradition here. So what do we do? So a lot of cultural barrier. Cultural barrier. Yes. Wife abandonment. Yes. He had the hand of your brother's wife. Right. As soon as your brother died now today, they say the next younger brother is going to inherit your wife. Not even minding the HIV status of that woman. So there are so many things going on. Tribal marks are still going on. So many other things. So we need help. If you go to the general hospital today, Tuesday, some days we have about 200 cases. All on drugs, so 200 new cases from Tuesdays to shift some to Wednesday. Then those cases we amount for Wednesday will now join. No badges for them. No nothing. Some of them don't even have transport back. They die there in the clinic. So as soon as the doctor finishes, just fold your things and leave them there. They just be hungry and they will die. There. So we, we need we need we need solution. We need help. The kids now. Nah, nah. Speak to the international community that you want the international community to come and to go. Now. So what I what 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 we, we we what I need now is that the international community should come to the aid of the Ogonis because we are dying out of ignorance. Even now that the drugs are there, just how we can get those people from those spiritual homes to the center where we can give them drugs. The mobilization is not there. The mobility is not there. The finance is not there, nothing. So we really want them to come to our aid. Help us, supply us with some buses, some test kits, some laptops, some printers, some internet systems where we can just get connected to some other people so that things will go well with us. But if we have the data, it's just on the hard copy like this. We want them on soft copies so that we can send what we are passing through to them over there. So we really need their help. Okay, thank you. Um, that was the, am I in that video? That was the director of NACA in the Ogoni um, that was spoken, speaking to you, um, appealing to the international community to uh, mobilize help to Boni land. And the situation here is very desperate. Um, it's very desperate. Uh, we have crisis. As it stands now, we have about 7,000 Ogonis on draw. Yes, yeah, 7,000 Ogonis on HIV. Known cases. Known no cases. cases. These are known cases. And if you pick any 10 Ogoni person on the street and test, seven is positive. Yeah. Out of every 10 of going seven are HIV positive. Out of every 10 people living in Ogoni, seven are HIV positive. 
So we have a crisis on our hand here. And as a native of this land, I'm also appealing um, um, to the international community. Um, as the NACA director has said, we need help desperately here for our people. Thank you very much. May God bless you. More than we feel one notebook. So if we can even use divine one notebook to totally villages for a start. You know, each notebook 15 for now. Um, three or four villages for per notebook. What does it mean? You may have so good. Oh, 